Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today is Sunday, which means normally I do a faith planner process video for you guys. Um, I haven't had one the last couple weeks. I've been kind of in a funk, but typically I have a process video, but I finally received the new uh, planners from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. So uh, Dayspring puts out uh, agenda planners. That is the one that I used for the last year. That's this one here. Um, I will link the videos down below where I show a flip through of this one and some tips and tricks. I have a video showing how to insert things into this planner. And um, basically it's the same uh, for the new one. Um, they have several different designs. This one in particular is just the one that is partnership between Illustrative Faith and Dayspring. Um, the other ones are beautiful. They basically, they are all the same. It's just the outside cover and like the graphics that are different, but the layout and everything like that is exactly the same between the planners. So just go through and pick the one that kind of speaks to you. Um, this one is so pretty. I don't know if the camera is going to catch it up. Uh, yeah, a little bit. There's lots of glare. Sorry. Um, there's like gold foiling on this one. So I loved, loved, loved this one. I loved the, um, that's not a pattern. <laughs> I loved the patterns in this one, but there is even more beautiful patterns in the new one. So this is an 18 month planner. So some of you, if you've got last year's, you know, you've still got all the way through December of this year that you can work in this planner. Um, and so some of you may not want to jump into a new one quite yet, but if you've been doing what I've been doing with mine, it's probably getting pretty full and you're probably ready to jump into a new one. So um, the planner starts in July of this year and goes all the way through till December of 2019, so next year. Um, and I use mine primarily for um, daily scripture writing. So let's jump back into the old one. Let me show you what I use it for, and then we can take a peek into the new one and some of the prints and things. Um, and so I use the monthly spreads for my appointments and business stuff and kids' school schedules and things like that. So this is a functional planner for me. I do use this. It sits on my desk at home um, next to my computer. I work from home, so that works just fine for me because it is a pretty big planner. This is not really like purse sized. Um, and so I just laid out um, with the monthly spread by my computer and put in all my schedule stuff on the monthly. I know a lot of people have asked what you use the monthly for. Um, I usually have like video ideas going on and what I'm posting and assignments for companies and things like that go in my monthly spread. So I do use this. Um, but then for the weekly spreads, that one's yucky. <laughs> I use it for daily scripture writing. So uh, I have a faith planner process playlist on my channel and I will try to link that down below. I know a lot of people asked for me to do a flip through of this planner and I said I was going to once I got the new one, but honestly 99.9% .9 of these um, pages have a video. So I think there's probably only two pages in the entire planner that I didn't videotape and they were duds anyways. Um, and so I show you how I do my backgrounds and then I usually do that Sunday nights typically, but for you guys I end up doing it different days so that I can videotape it. But in an ideal world, I would do it Sunday night, and then throughout the week, I write out scripture every single day. I don't write scripture on Sundays um, since I'm at church and doing other things, and so I do kind of cover up Sunday with artwork or whatever, and then leave myself plenty of room to write out scripture. Uh, currently, I'm using the YouVersion Bible app and using their daily scriptures, but there are lots of different daily scripture programs out there, or you can just do like a devotional, or maybe even you're working through the 100 Days of Bible Promises, um, and you want to take one of the scriptures from here and just write it out um, just to try to help commit it to memory. Um, this is just something that's been really good for me to spend a few minutes in the Word every day. Even if I'm not able to get some Bible journaling done, I can at least get in and write out some scripture. Um, and it's funny because scripture that I've written in here, I've come across in other things, whether Bible studies or sermons, and I recognize it because I have written it out in this planner. And so I go through some weeks, I don't get all my scripture written and that's okay. Sometimes I don't get a chance to write out scripture. Um, sometimes I've gone whole weeks and not written out scripture and that's just real world guys. I am not perfect. Um, things happen like this is in November. So obviously during holiday time, um, but for the most part, I've gone through and written out scripture. So you can see the decorative pieces are just pretty and fun. They're not necessary. The important part is for me leaving myself plenty of room to write out 
scripture. When I first started this planner, I was, let me see if I was doing it back here. Here we go. I was just writing out the scripture and not doing any artwork. So I was changing up pen colors and matching the pens to the patterns and things like that. But um, this worked for a couple weeks. And then honestly, I got bored and I got, I don't know. And I know that sounds so bad to say that I was bored writing out scripture, but it was, it just, I wasn't feeling like, oh, I really want to do this. And so I needed to find something that would work for me. And so by adding artwork and adding things to it really made it fun and made me really want to, I don't know, complete it. There was just something this worked for me. And so it may not work for everybody. You could use these planners as typical planners and fill out each day um, with, you know, your to-do list for that day. Or if you want to do journal writing, maybe um, writing out what happened during that day or what you did during that day. There's a lot of different ways that you can use these planners. So um, I'm not going to do a flip through just because I have videos for, like I said, just about every entry in here. So check out that playlist. You have questions about that. Um, and it's just, it's really pretty. There's a lot of pretty artwork. Um, the months have really pretty dashboards. So um, this was last year's, which I don't really think you can get. You might be able to get it still from um, Lori at By the Well for God. She may still have a few. And what you could do with these older ones, if you could get it for a good price, is use bits and pieces of the dashboards um, as papers and things like that in your journaling or other projects. So um, it may be worth it to pick one of these up at a discounted price and kind of deconstruct it and play with it. So let's take a look at at this year's. Um, I flipped through it really quickly. Essentially, it's exactly the same as last year's as far as layout, even the sizing is the same. Um, one thing you'll notice that's different is the um, fonts. So last year is like a typewriter font, and then this is kind of a fun uh, scripty, like hand lettered, not scripty, it's hand lettered. Um, it seems like the prints in here are more kind of watercolored, and um, there's a lot more purple. Um, then there's some traditional colors, but um, there's just different prints than there was in last year's. And so let me just flip through so that you can see the different prints. The note from Shauna in the, in the front is exactly the same as last year's. And then you've got a place where you can put your information in case you do carry your planner with you and accidentally gets misplaced. Um, it is coil bound. I have a video showing how I um, create things and work with them with the planner punch board from We Are Memory Keepers to add pieces into this um, school coil bound. So you can check that out down below. Um, so here are the dashboards. Really pretty. God writes the very best stories. So here's where you're really going to see uh, Shauna and her personality come through um, in the design. So you've got your at a glance here. So you could go through and maybe highlight your kids um, schedules, days off, vacations, things like that. That might be a good use for this. Um, see, it's just really, it's just a different style. I don't know. It's just a little bit different artwork than last year's. So you've got Psalm 4610, be still and know that I am God. And then your monthly spread. And like I said, I use this as a functional planner. I fill out doctor's appointments and things like that. Um, and then the pattern starts with the monthly spread and then is that pattern throughout the weeks. So, and um, in my videos, you'll see, I sometimes cover that up with pattern paper or washi tape if it doesn't match what I am um, putting on the spread. I can do all things through him who strengthens and empowers me. That's Philippians 4.13. And this might be some fun inspiration for backgrounds in your Bible journaling pages too and recreating um, some of this in your Bible. You've got that, <laughs> you know, iconic Shauna Noel textures and things like that. So that carries out through the top of it there. This is super cute. We walk by faith, not by sight. I love all the hand lettering. And here you're gonna see a lot more like watercolor textures in this year's um, planner. So really, really pretty. This one here, Ecclesiastes 311, some fun florals. These would be fun to copy and kind of recreate on a page. So I'm just gonna flip through quickly so you can see all the different 
patterns. And I don't know if anybody's gonna have videos up of the other planners from Dayspring. You can see some photos online, so I'm not quite sure. Their artwork and things are gonna be different in those planners. So the layout's the same, but the artwork and the covers are different, and that's the only difference between the different planners. So this one's super fun. Maybe you were made for such a time as this. This is probably my favorite. So this is for February, do everything in love. I love, love, love these strawberries and the fruits. How cute is that? And it is repeated. So I, when I go in and do these, I'm gonna probably not cover that up. I'm gonna find a way to match, probably using the, um, Fruits of the Spirit stamp set with a little strawberry would be cute. This one is fun with the mountains and trees. I love, like, even how this is, like, all wonky. I don't know. It's just, it's fun. It's cute. Some faux washi strips. And so if you wanted, when you're done with your months and you're moving on through your planner, you could go through and tear these out and cut these apart and use them in your journaling entries or use them in your scrapbooking and things like that. So um, mine got very, very full <laughs> as I was working through it. I like this fun kind of grungy texture. This here with the florals, really pretty. Fun watercolor painterly arrows. Here is the bicycle image. This is from the May <laughs> box that they did, devotional kit they did, I think. So there is that. Little watercolor textures. I love the colors. This would be fun to pull these colors out and use them for inspiration in your journaling. May the power of the Holy Spirit fill you with hope. That's really pretty with little raindrops. fun tribal print. One thing I would like to see, and Elaine Davis, if you're watching this video, I don't know if you watch my videos, it would be fun to see some print and pray shop items during these months that kind of match the colors of the planner. I know that might be a little far-fetched because not everybody's going to have the planner, um, but I do really like using the print and pray items in my weekly spreads, especially like the devotionals, um, the little short devotionals they do. I insert those and use the printables on my spread. So it would be fun to have some printables that match um, the monthly colors. Oh, how fun is the pineapples? And this is the notes section, so you can very easily sacrifice pulling that out and cutting these out and using them. How adorable is that? So you do have some sections for notes back here. You could use sermon notes or just idea notes or I don't know, whatever you want. Here's some grid paper so you could practice some hand lettering on grid and then some blank um, paper in the back. Then you've got your holidays. These are printed and listed in the calendars. Um, and then they even include 2020 at a glance and then some fun uh, stickers and I did use these in my last planner and so you've got birthday special day game practice party no school I used these up like crazy <laughs> and then a little vote sticker and then you've got church event family night doctor's appointment friend time and haircut so I wish I got my haircut that often I'm a cheapo and I probably only get it cut once a year and I cut it myself the rest of the year so um, but the doctor appointment ones I definitely use those and the church ones and things like that. So there are those. And then you've got blank ones that you can write in um, on your own and fill those out and use those. So in the back here, you also have a nice thick cardstock pocket. So you can stick, if you are like a real planner girl and have planner stickers and things like that, you can stick those in there and use that. And then you've got the back cover. So um, my video from last year, I do believe I go through and um, show different inks and different pens and how the bleed through is on these pages. Like I said, this planner is exactly like last year's in that sense. So I will link that video down below so you can see that if you have questions about that. Um, and like you can see, I definitely chunked up 
This one I used all kinds of dimensional elements and all kinds of goodies. So I will be going ahead and jumping into this planner in July. I will not be finishing out um, this one. I'll probably go through and maybe tear these out and use up some of the images and things. Um, I've also had questions like if you get started late, let's say you can't order this in time for July and you don't get it till a few months down the road. What do you do about the months um, that have already passed? You could just tear those out, especially if you're gonna use chunky bits like I did tear those out and that way it frees up some room um, and use the paper or just ignore it don't worry about it I mean it's 18 months you're gonna get plenty of use out of it this way I think it is great I love these planners I have tried probably five or six different planners from different companies and this is my go-to um, and I will be sticking with this one for a while so if you have questions or comments be sure to leave those down below I will have an affiliate link down below to where you can order this planner or any of the other day spring planners um, that are out there that are gonna be they're already available um, they also have some other little planner goodies in the shop if you're interested in that um, so check out the links in the description box down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I will be back hopefully next week with a new uh, planner process video for you guys so until next time thank you so much bye bye